Alright, it's now the natural, and two more barracks going up. <coughs> two more barracks going up in the main base, they're going heavy bioforce at the moment. Just now starting to get some marauders out, because that'll obviously be useful in the later game, especially if we do see a transition into more um, tier 3 units. And in the red on supply again, somehow. So really losing quite a lot of supply depots, just kind of all around the map. Boo getting his third base up. Making sure he keeps ahead of the Terran on the macro. There's turrets just kind of still all around the base, but not particularly effective with the mules still. So he says he's saving, but he's got a lot of energy on both these command centers. Really a bit too much energy. And Boo just able to kind of sit back, starting to get infestors out now. And getting some upgrades. Neural Parasite, presumably just in case some thought yep, some thaws have come out. So Neural Parasite against those thaws, pretty effective if you can get in close enough without dying. And it's Seeker Missile being upgraded, so it looks like we're going to probably see some Raven play, and Burrow's not upgraded at the moment for those investors, so they're not going to be able to kind of burrow away, but Raven's coming out, and it looks like we're going to see Seeker Missiles from the Terran. Kind of can be nice if there are a lot of clumped units, it can be pretty effective against Mutalists, sometimes if you manage to get a hit in, but they can escape. A couple of Evo Chambers going down as well, and the Lair morphing up to a Hive, so it looks like we might be seeing some Ultralisks probably considering we've got those two Evo chambers going down, they'll be getting some upgrades, the melee attack and the carapace upgrade for the ultralisks. So they'll be a lot more effective. And Boo just getting out infestors, roaches, quite a lot of lings here. So it looks like he's going to go for a pretty heavy ground force for now and then possibly transition into ultralisks, especially since he's ahead on the economy. And there's a lot of bio force for the Terran and ooh, just check his vision to see if he knows. He hasn't seen the starport so he doesn't know about the Tekla. Won't know about the Ravens. So that could catch him slightly off guard and we've got a Hellion just scouting around. Nice little scout there. Making sure that he finds out how many bases exactly the Zerg's on. He's going to see this third base. He's going to know that it's three on two. Not not too uncomfortable for the turn, but obviously better to be at least even on bases because that basically puts your head. But three against two is still pretty decent. Getting ship weapons for the Terran, which is kind of interesting. Um, I'm not sure they affect the Raven since the Seeker Missile has a flat damage. So I'm not sure exactly how useful that is. He might have wanted to go for vehicle weapons level 2, but he is going for ship weapons, so he might be getting some Vikings out, but he's got two Ravens. So, not quite sure about that. Um, Boo, ahead on the army, ahead on the income, ahead on the harvesters. Pretty much ahead, almost all across the board just now getting some upgrades, so he's slightly behind on the upgrades at the moment, but that's going to change pretty quickly. And it looks like both players going for this middle ground, both going to take out their rocks, meet in the middle, and really with the Infestors, this could be an advantage for the Zerg player, um, but we'll have to see, kind of tightly clumped Terran units, he knows that it's coming, he decides to back off, let him destroy the rocks, and then just go in. And what he could be doing really is sending some units around the back like those Zerg units, just going to run around the back and kind of surround him from the back, but he's not doing that, he's going to keep all his units at the front. Let him come into the choke, he scans, he sees all the units here, and Fogelworks really needs to go off pretty soon. Stim comes out, it looks like a lot of units are going to die. Those infestors not using their Fogelworks, which is going to be a real mistake, but eventually it goes down. See if we can get some Europe outside, yep, on the board. That's going to make them a lot easier to deal with, but no, he yeah, only managed to take one, and his infestors will die. And now quite a few units still coming in, he's still not using his hunger growth as much as the neural power so he's kind of out of energy on his a lot of his infestors now coming in with a lot of links so that should be able to clear this up eventually but still those swords have got a lot of HP on them no SCV to back them up though which is a bit of a mistake you should really brought some SCV to kind of back up these doors help them out you see this red bar about to die pretty soon if he manages to get a few more hits on it but doesn't manage to it's going to escape just about but another one goes down and now just two doors left against a couple of roaches and really if he'd managed to focus on that one Thor he could have taken it out bit of a mistake not having any SUVs. See Boo taking another base now and getting a lot more infestors and now going for some quite a few banelings. He knows that there's quite a lot of bio units being produced because he's got that kind of a lot of barracks out. He's got those reactors so he'll be able to deal with them pretty quickly. So getting the banelings just to protect against that and take down the SUVs but not getting the movement speed upgrade for the banelings and the creep spread is pretty poor at the moment so he's not going to be able to use the banelings particularly effectively because Terran should be able to just kite. Now the Terran going up for a third base against this four base, which is already up for Boo. So Boo pretty comfortably ahead at the moment in Econ, and he's got two banning nests, which is possibly a bit of a mistake since you can't even use that for double upgrades. But now he's finally getting the Ultralisk Cavern. Like I mentioned earlier, getting those upgrades for 
to make sure that the ultras can be more effective and at the moment he's on plus one melee and plus one carapace and probably gonna get yeah, getting the plus two for ultralisks so they'll be on plus one plus three pretty effective against this plus one attack for the mech, plus one attack for the ground troops and no ship plating yet and I'm not sure if I saw those ravens do anything I think they got taken down by the Thors in that battle earlier so now just one raven out, not able to use the seeker missile because it takes 125 energy and they don't spawn with much and he is getting that Call of the Reactor upgrade to give it plus 25 starting energy so it will be able to get those upgrades up quicker and Boo just got Overlord's kind of position most of the way around the map so you can see what's going on and he has seen that these missile turrets are coming up so he'll probably know that Terran's planning to get that extra base he's got his forces just kind of sat around here starting to get some creep now but really not doing it quickly enough and it looks like this marine's going to die to all his links and now the Terran knows where the Zerg is, the Zerg knows where the Terran is kind of getting ready and it looks like he's going to move in now but those links are kind of going to far too far ahead of the rest of the army anyway but now the Bailings managed to get in to get all the biofilters, neural power slashes, all the of wham he's going to be able to take everything down really quickly so it's a neural power slash just taking out the force completely nullifying half the army, he should really start yeah, attacking those doors now getting them to attack each other if he can but move the infestors back save them because they're pretty gas intensive and plan to take out most of the army, at least this source can go down or should go down and now he's still got a few roaches around but now the force is coming up I think from that third base and stop the rest of the roaches taking on the final four but still losing most of his thors losing all the bio forces he'd boo built boo also lost most of his stuff but importantly kept those infestors alive which means that they'll be able to fight another day which is what you always want I mean they're a bit low on energy because they use these neural parasites and everything but still he's got enough for possibly a couple of fungal growths out of all of those and a planetary fortress now for the third so that's going to be pretty hard to attack until he gets ultralisks out which aren't on the way yet and it looks like the Terran kind of quite a lot of gas left over and Boo saving up quite a few resources so in production eight ultralisks so when those eight ultralisks pop that's going to be basically it Boo's just going to be able to kind of walk in with those ultralisks he's got the uh, macro advantage and if he manages to take out one of the two bases when his attack upgrades finish it's going to be on plus two plus four for the ultras and that's going to make him pretty deadly especially with the rest of these forces just kind of hold everything in position with the fungal growth moving with the ultras and basically up this really small force and it just depends on what these ravens manage to do. I'm not sure the Seeker Missiles can do all that much, especially against the Ultralisks. They've got a lot of HP. The Seeker Missile max damage is only 100, so that will take down not a huge amount of the energy, and he really doesn't have enough Thors. Although he is getting quite a few Marauders out, so they'll be pretty effective against the Armored Ultralisks. But Boo's just going to be able to macro back up again, even if he does lose all those Ultralisks after he's taken out the forces, and they just come in with a second wave of troops and take everything down and the scan coming down didn't see the ultralist not sure he knows that they're there and it looks like he's moving in with the ravens at the front if he managed to mind control those ravens and no it looks like he's just going to go in with everything and seeker missiles going down wow on this main force that's going to do a lot of damage but still you can see the ultralist is all alive and most of the zerglings are alive as well because the splash damage is not particularly effective it's fungal growthing two of the ravens throwing down a bunch of infested town to take them down no really anti-air units apart from the infestors and it looks like he's going to go and try to take that planetary fortress with some lings, not a good idea keep them back, run them away quickly but no, and the ultra is going to come in, they're going to be able to do the damage eventually but these lings are just going to die and this planetary fortress is pretty much dead, not even going to just try and repair it so a bit wasted there, now he finally brings in the SP to repair but they're not going to be able to do anything to hold on so the ultra is taking down our third base, now it's too well almost mined out here at the secondary, completely mined out the main Boo also might not have his main, so it's basically three bases against one, or half a base against two and a half, so Boo far, far in the lead. Another command center going down, but that should be able to get taken down again when he moves these ultralists out. Kind of a bit odd running in at the front with those lings, kind of sacrificing them, but it doesn't really matter too much in the end, and he's near his food supply max anyway, so not a huge loss. And looks like Boo's easily going to be able to take this eventually when he runs in with those ultralists just getting the micro advantage and just out producing his opponent making sure he stayed ahead in the macro didn't lose any bases, didn't suffer from that early harass particularly badly I mean obviously he lost quite a few drones but he managed to come back bring up some drones, not really too much more pressure being put on and he used his own roaches to kind of put pressure on the front door keep the town supply box which kind of allowed him to pull ahead of that early game and now it looks like all these balls are going to go down Fungal growth on all the infantry, and that's going to be a good game. Pretty much, some more seeker missiles trying to come down, but they're not going to be able to do too much. Seeker missiles 
really not been effective. A lot of investment in it, time spent researching it, producing all the ravens, but really 